Hi, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here today. I'm collaborating again this week with Cass from Clutterbug. We have done a whole back to school series so far this week. We still have tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. And if you're new to my channel, hi, and click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss the fun. Okay, today I'm so excited to share with you my family command center. I have been working on this project for like over a year, but I'm such a perfectionist. I would like look at Pinterest, look at all my, the ideas that I wanted to do, bought a few things, and then I waited like, no, like I had to have it so stinking perfect. I hate my brain. But no, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put together a family command center that can help keep you organized and feel on top of things as a family. So let me show you what I did here in my kitchen. Okay, so I utilized the side of my refrigerator. So all their, the kids' lovely artwork from school is gonna have to go on the garage door. My garage door is magnetized. I usually put things there, but that is definitely gonna be the spot for it this year. And I have an idea of how I wanna display it after I did the video on the memory binder. Click down below if you wanna see it. So if I could pull it off, of course I'm gonna show it and share it with you. So. When I was thinking of this command center, there's a lot of pieces to it in the cupboard as well that I'm going to share with you. But when I started, well, when I started, like I said in the intro, like I was such a perfectionist. It was insane. But I sat down last week and I was thought, okay, what are the things that I want in a command center? I want a place for the car keys. I want a calendar. I mean, we could sync up our phones and on the calendars and stuff, but I'm so bad at it. Like something out for everyone to see what we're doing and what's going on. So I wanted a place for the car keys. I wanted a family calendar. I wanted a whiteboard that we could scribble things on. And I wanted a place where their chores were shown. Now, a lot of command centers will also have where they put their bills and incoming mail and, and all that. But I did that in my office and I'm gonna share my office command center on another video for you. I just kept that separate. So, okay, let me share with you. Okay, you can see here on the top of my refrigerator, I have a printable of the month. Okay, so I love this pattern. I will put the printable for you down below, but I also have it printed out to the rest of 2016, so it goes till December because I love the pattern. I didn't want to have to like try to find it again or find the uh, file on my computer. So they're all magnetized here, so we could all see what's going on, what is happening, who has games, any doctor's appointments we could all see what's happening that day or that week. And then here I got um, this magnet pad at the Dollar Tree, love the Dollar Tree, and this is where I write um, food that we are out of. So when I'm here in the kitchen and I'm in the fridge, I'm in the pantry, I'm like, oh, we're out of this, we're out of that. I could write it down very quickly so I don't have to try to remember later. And this cute little weird, I have no idea, maybe he was a pilgrim, I have no idea. But that is my grandmother's magnet that she had on her fridge that I grew up as a child. And it looked way better back in its day. And I don't know, it looked like it's something that she made. And um, I just keep it on my fridge because I grew up looking at it and I just have to continue looking at it. And I just, it's warm to my heart. So I have that there. So I encourage you to have a calendar in your command center. Okay, I loved this. I searched high and low and I found them. These are magnetized white board sheets. I found them at Hobby Lobby for like five bucks and they, they stick right to the fridge. You can move them. It's amazing, I love it. So it magnetized to the back of the fridge and I can move them around and create different things with them. So for this one, it's more of a doodle page. The kids are already having fun with it. Last night I wrote 13 days till school, which now is actually 12. And Callie is like, no, no. And Jonah is quite excited about the event, actually. And then I have a reminder that Thursday we go to the dentist. So as you're watching, that's where we are. We're all at the dentist with the kitties, yay. And again, they're not happy about going to the dentist. <laughs> Uh, so any quick notes that we need to leave for each other, we'll leave right there. Next to it is our cleaning zones. Now I will post a link down below to my cleaning binder for the kids. It's their zones. Um, our house is sectioned out in zones and they are in charge of one of the zones each week. So they have to go through the list of the detailed cleaning and take care of that. So we switch up the zones every week and that's just a reminder. 
Now if I come closer, you're going to see these magnets on them. And um, these magnets I got from the Dollar Tree. And they're so cute. I got ones that are for boys and for girls and one for the days of the week, as you can see right here. So um, some of the cleaning ones are like take out the trash, clean the bathroom, clean your room, do the dishes. So um, that's just like an extra thing that I put on there uh, next to their zones that they need to do for the week. And right next to it I have some magnetized highlighters and a, this is really cool, this is actually next to it a magnetized dry erase marker. So it's magnetized on one side and I could just stick it here like that. I found the highlighters, I found the highlighters and the magnetized dry erase marker at Walmart. Next is my menu planner. Now you've probably seen these in my past videos if you've been a subscriber to me for a while. I keep it usually on um, the buffet table right next to it, but I was able to put add more magnets onto this and make it really strong. Um, what I did was, I had this in my um, craft bins. It is magnets, and so you can cut them to size. So I loaded more magnets on here and stuck it to the fridge. So um, it's not going anywhere. It's on there really good. This is a dry erase marker board. And um, I found this at Walmart, and it goes through the days of the week. So I can um, change very quickly. It's not in pencil, white, switch the menu for the week. And so that is what I did there. So we could see what we're having for the whole week. And um, it's been great. I've done this for a year now, and it's my favorite way to menu plan. And then that way everybody could see what we're having for dinner and be involved in what we're having for dinner. And I just love seeing you out in the open. So when I'm walking through my kitchen for like the 20th millionth time of the day, I'm always reminded what is dinner, and I can't forget that I've got to plan for dinner. Now I'm going to share with you how I utilize the inside of the cupboard here next to the refrigerator. As part of the command center, I have my duties that I do in the home, and I taped them on the inside of this cupboard. Now, you've seen my morning and night routine sheets, and I, I'll post the vlog, the video to that down below, but I've redone them just a bit. I have a weekly home blessing hour that I do on Mondays, and I switched up my weekly schedule, and I'm going to share that with you guys on a different video more in depth about my schedule for the upcoming school year and I'm, I've already implemented it the last two weeks and I'm really happy about it. So I have, I placed my cleaning schedule on this cupboard door because I could keep it open when I'm walking through the house into the kitchen. Um, when I'm working on my chores I could see it out in the open so that's why it's on that door. Okay, you guys. So on this cabinet door, I put some of um, cork board, and I found this at Hobby Lobby. It comes in a roll. Um, it was like four ninety nine, and one roll was five ninety nine. I have a really there's like I don't even know three layers of cork board because I couldn't find a roll thick enough to put on my cupboard. So the first roll that I bought a year ago, like I said, I've been planning this for a year, is this thin cork board. It's super super thin um, and I couldn't get a pin to go through without hitting the cupboard so um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got a thicker cork board right here the thickest that, it's the bottom one the thickest that they had in a roll and I could have bought a square one I seen at Hobby Lobby and other stores you know a smaller one I could have fit in here and attached to my cupboard but I wanted something that could go from this length to this length of the cupboard so that's why I went with the roll. So I put the thicker one down below and it is, um, I tried tape, it didn't work. I hot glued it to my cupboard and I've already taken parts of it off with the hot glue and did not ruin my cupboard so I'm not worried about it at all. Plus I hate these cupboards so I really don't care. Uh, <laughs> so I put the thicker one at the bottom and then put two layers of the thin one on and so now I could put my tacks in, my push pins, and it works great. So this is where we're going to put any invitations to things, um, anything like that, weddings, here. Because I don't want them on the outside of these cupboards. Um, I just, I don't want anything on them. I want the kitchen to look clean. The only time that I like to put things on the other side of this cupboard is at Christmas time when we decorate it with all the Christmas cards that we get from everybody. So uh, I don't like to... I like to keep them bare during the year. So we have this here to put any invitations and fun things as well. 
And then again, by my command center is my buffet table where we keep our homework station. If you'd like to see how I made this, click on the link below. And this was yesterday's video if you'd like to see it. The other goal that I wanted was somewhere to hang our keys. Now you've probably seen this key rack in my home before from my um, Hobby, Lo Hobby Lobby haul. I'll post a link down below that I had a while ago. Uh, it had fallen off the wall and I never hung it back up. Uh, it's back on the wall and this is where we keep our keys. And then I just made a cute little welcome home card right there just to spruce it up a bit. So now when we come in through the garage right here, we can hang up our keys. The kids can put their backpacks um, away. Now someone asked me in yesterday's vlog, why don't I keep the shoes here? I don't store the shoes here because I really don't want to make my kitchen any more cluttered than it can be. So I store the shoes by the front door. Even though it's not the spot where we mostly go out, it's a convenient spot for me over by the front door. And let me show, show you. Okay, over here by my front door, I have this table. And um, I put these bins underneath it for our shoes. It's been working out really great. Um, I thought of maybe labeling one Cali, Jonah, Boston, Shaley. Uh, for all my kids, but no, it's like when you come in, just throw them in the buckets. I don't care which one, just throw them in. Uh, and so when they clean and do their zone, they just make sure the the um, shoes are in the in the buckets. And then when they get too full, like this, so whoever has this zone has to get their shoes back to the people's rooms. Um, and because they they just get too full, so they do need to be emptied out. And so. Uh, my house does not have a coat closet, you guys, so I have nowhere to put my coats and shoes when we walk into the house. So um, I have the table here where it's just welcoming and pretty, and I decorate it every year for the seasons. Um, so I have this for our shoes, and then I have a coat rack right by the front door. And so all our winter coats and stuff hang here. A few of you asked me about the shoes um, in yesterday's vlog, so thought I would answer it in this vlog for you. That's why they're not with the backpacks. So, got to do what you got to do in your house and what you, you know, you got to work what you got to work with. So, uh, so if you are interested in making command center again, yes, go on Pinterest. There's lots of good ideas on there, but don't get sucked into it like I did. And it gave me anxiety and it stopped me from doing it. And so, silly me. So um, it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be grandioso, you could just take one section on your counter, if you have a little counter, do it, my kids are having a blast down there, do it on there, uh, the side of your fridge, the inside of a cupboard, it doesn't have to be huge, just think of the needs that you have. I wanted keys, calendar, whiteboard, menu planner, and I made it happen, so, and you can too. All right, thanks for joining me today, you guys. Again, go check out Cass's channel so you can see how she does her family command center. It's awesome. And we will see you tomorrow for my favorite video. I think it'll be out of the whole back to school series with Cass. And that is, you're gonna have to wait and come back tomorrow. All right, thanks for joining me today, you guys. You're awesome, appreciate you. And of course, leave your hacks and tricks and tips down below for a command center. What have you done? Put them down below. All right, thanks for joining me today, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.